What's going on guys? Cut out work early today. Gotta go pick the kids up from the bus stop, but they're planning on a uh, snowstorm hit in my area. Uh, starting off probably about six o'clock tonight, carrying all the way to six, five o'clock in the morning, who knows. They're saying anywhere between three and nine inches, and we all know who that, how that goes, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna get home early today and I gotta start prepping the chicken coop for snow and start prepping this long driveway I've got for snow and get the plow implement attached to the ranger and I might do a video on that so you know what we will do a video on that I will show you guys what I'm using a uh, cheap method to uh, remove snow off my driveway my driveway I don't know probably a couple, couple hundred yards maybe maybe I'm not sure all I know is it's treacherous and it's a real pain in the butt and if I don't start working on it as it's snowing before it snows then it's almost nearly impossible to get up with any kind of vehicle besides my four-wheel drive truck so yeah let's get that and let's hope this storm doesn't hit us otherwise I'm staying home tomorrow and uh, taking it easy see ya so we gotta feed these chickens and get them all prepped up before the snowstorm hits right mm -hmm. So what we got to do, bud? We got to give them water, give them feed, and get their eggs. Yep. So we got to give them water, give them feed, and get their eggs. Yeah. We got to make sure they're all set up, get them all, get the door closed up so we don't get any snow blowing in there. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're all good. Make sure the lamps are on because it's going to get really cold tonight. And then we're going to go prep the... UTV, the Ranger, to remove snow tomorrow. So, <laughs> let's see if I can get through this netting without losing my hat. Uh, it's always a chore. <sighs> always, always lose my hat on this netting. This is my netting to keep hawks and stuff out it always seems to grab the this part of my hat right there every single time oh they know I got a little got a little scratch for them we're gonna get these chickens taken care of and we'll get back to you How many eggs we get? Well, they range around seven and nine, seven and ten. Yeah. On like a regular day. <laughs> when we're like being gone and stuff, like, mm -hmm. like, like, like one day or so. Yeah. It runs like, like 15 days, like 15 eggs. And if we get lucky, maybe 20. Yeah. 10 each day. So, yeah. <laughs> so we have. Four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. We got eight eggs. How old's Waylon doing today? Waylon. You doing okay? So we forgot to mention in the last video that uh, I like to mix a little meat bird protein in um, in my chicken scratch right before cold weather. Uh, it just gives them a little bit of a, a heat boost or a booster. A little extra protein, keep them warm when the weather gets really cold. So that's kind of what I feed the chickens right before the cold snaps come through, which we're about to get. That's Snowflake up there. He's uh, anti-social. Doesn't like nobody. He'll come around though. It's my farm help. Wyatt, he's my par paid farm hand, pretty much. Huh. 
Uh-huh. I couldn't do anything around here if it wasn't for this guy right here, I'm telling you what. So there's not really much to take care of these chickens when it's about to snow. We just want to make sure we keep them locked up. Yeah. Clear little things out here. This all gets always gets jammed up. This door jam right here always gets jammed up. So locking you down. And I don't I don't close that. I don't close that door all the way. I leave it cracked so they can still get plenty of air and it doesn't uh doesn't affect them much because they're made for cold. We just don't want, you know, we want a little bit of a draft in there to get the moisture out from them breathing and stuff. We don't want anything to freeze on them, like I mentioned. So let's head back down to the house. I know I got a couple subscribers that uh probably be dealing with the same storm. So you guys got livestock, probably tell me what you uh what you guys do, what's your little preparation before a storm hits, especially with chickens. They're pretty resilient, but yeah, they still need a little bit of taken care of. We're going to find out what goats is like here. Probably this uh, this summer, hopefully this summer. But i got to get the enclosures built, everything like that. I think I've got a goat house ready to go. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what Mama thinks about all that and go from there. But... Let's go check out this uh, this snow back blade that I'm going to be using to clear this driveway when the snow so what hits. What I got here is a one point hitch system made by Impact Implements, um, and I've got myself a bat box blade that I took off uh, took off the side so I can push snow out. I dragged this behind my Polaris Ranger 900. Uh, the biggest problem I have with this whole setup is one for the weight. When you start pushing this down. And this blade starts going up, the UTV's uh, rear end heads up. So you got to weight this down. And there's also special things that you can buy for the back of this. But the other things I want to talk about is, you know, the frame of this UTV, uh, the metal of this frame is forged from uh, meteorites that have landed in Wisconsin where they build these things out of strong futuristic space metals and ore. This uh, implement blade and one point hitch system, it is forged from metals that are collected of uh, old soda cans and soup cans on the coast of China. So that's not saying too much about the strength of this system here. Now, does it work? Of course it works. You just gotta know the limits. So I obviously keep this well greased. I kinda I bent it in a few places. I bent these arms a little bit, but you know, that wasn't because uh, I was, you know, not working it. Obviously, I was working this thing pretty good, and I've actually uh, I've bent it a few times. But overall, this thing is extremely cheap. I mean, extremely cheap. I think I paid, I probably paid less than $100 for this single point hitch, and probably less than $100 for this box blade. Uh, I've been using them for about two years now, and I haven't had a problem at all, um, except for like the slight bending and stuff. But that's also because I had, you know, a load full of brick in the back of this Polaris. This thing cranked all the way down, and I'm pulling big loads of gravel where it's actually coming up over this blade. So, like I said, it wasn't because, you know, this thing is inferior. It's just I was really working it. Uh, I know the limits of this thing, so I'd never push it past its limits. Someday it is going to wear out, but I'm pretty handy around a welder and metal and I could probably fix it up pretty good. But you know, for an extremely cheap something to remove snow or drag gravel in your driveway, this worked out just fine. You get a lot of bad uh, comments on Amazon and, and, and Cabela's where I bought this thing. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's cheap, it's made in China, and you have to know its limits. Uh, this thing's not designed to be, you know, construction grade material. This is a light duty plow. So this is what we're going to use it for. Yeah, so like I said, this is an extremely cheap, effective way to move gravel and snow from your drive. Um, I wasn't able to put a, a snow blade on the front of it with a winch just yet when I first bought. But... Uh, even this year I was thinking about doing it, but I decided not to. And you know what? 
that was the year that it snowed. This is the year that it snowed the most, and I could have used the plow this year. So you better be sure that I'm going to get one next year, and this is probably going to go to the back, but I'll get one next year, and I guarantee you it won't snow because I bought a new plow. This is how much snow we're dealing with right now. This is before the snowstorm, so we'll see how much we get. You can kind of see my future goat house down there. And the sun snow fort. So we're going to get him plenty of snow. So, yep. We'll see how it winds up.